And because I had HEV, um, Dr. Hutter got the idea that um, that I could um, that he could possibly save me from leukemia and um, get rid of the HEV as well. All at the same time. Yeah. And that was pretty exciting. Although I decided to, since the chemotherapy had um, had worked, I kind of um, decided not to do the transplant right away. As if the chemotherapy was working and holding holding leuke leukemia back, um, that there was no reason in risking my life with the transplant. They were kind of mad at me because I um, had at first decided not to do the, the um, transplant. And uh, I, went, I went back home and uh, <clears throat> did pretty well for a while, for several months. And then they said they seemed to know that it was gonna come back, the leukemia. And they were right, so it came back, and um, I basically I went back in and told them I was going to do the transplant. And what did you know about this donor? Um, he was German, but was living in New York. He, because he is, um, he's got he doesn't have CCR5 um, genes because both of his parents didn't have it. Um, he's immune to HIV. I got, got his cells and um, that made me resistant to HIV. And, um, and actually before the first transplant I, um, I talked to Dr. Hüter and suggested that <coughs> um, because it was important that my, my cells grow back um, Normally, um, I probably shouldn't take the HIV medication anymore, and so I stopped. Consider yourself cured of HIV, and if so, how does that feel? It feels really good. Um, yeah, uh, it's really nice to not have to take medication anymore. Um, uh, I have friends who, who have to take them still, and. Um, hopefully this, this will be able to um, become a widespread cure. I'm very hopeful that um, they'll be able to generalize the success that's been done for my, um, my transplant um, so people can be cured of HIV and um, without having to go through what I had to go through.